All right, I'm gonna try this again. Last video, a suck a Oh, uh, and I think I have. Ooh, I'm in a cave. Cool. Uh, so we're here talking, we're doing Icarus again. Uh, I'm gonna start a new character. This is super easy to do. You just pick a color that you like. I'm gonna go with something different. I did a uh, Fallout theme last time. This video, let's try. And they're all kinda, whatever, uh, that's it. And you, you can take and change all this stuff if you wanna be light-skinned or dark-skinned or anywhere in between leave the default I like the decal I think that was all that I changed facial hair tattoos you really don't see yourself much in this game uh, so you don't really need to do anything we're gonna call this guy Kevin uh, let's call him Sam the nah let's stay with Kevin you know what let's do Toby the cat all right, we're gonna take Toby on a new spin. So when you start off, <clears throat> let's walk through some of this stuff. Uh, your currencies are shared amongst all of your different characters. I don't know how many you can have. I've only had two at a time. Uh, but this is a screen you pick. Uh, so you come here to a new world or you can load something, uh, resume an open prospect, or you can join with multiplayers and have fun on servers. So you got three, I just play local because I don't have any server friends that play this game. Uh, so you got three uh, sections of to play here. So one is open world. This is a persistent survival experience. You get to choose your drop point and build your base, battle enemies and the weather across the entire map and just survive as long as you want or can. There's no time limit. Outpost is very similar, but it's a smaller map, I believe, and it's risk free pretty much nothing really attacks you. You got calmer weather, fewer enemies, uh, but you don't get as much experience points. I haven't really tried this. Uh, you just click onto it. And then if you've downloaded uh, some DLCs or upgraded, then you, those would unlock here. But I think I just have the basic and it should come with this Arkwood outpost. which I have never done. I might get to it one of these days, but it's something you can do. Just, you know, small, chill. Uh, and then open worlds, uh, you get to just do whatever you want in the map. Go explore, have fun. Uh, I really like doing the missions. I've done a few of them so far, and I wanted to start over uh, on a new character and kind of walk through the first couple. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how far this series goes, but as you can see, there's there's lots of different missions to unlock. There's a bunch of them. Um, in doing completing missions, um, there's lots of information on these. Uh, this one's got one skull, so it's pretty easy. This is the tutorial, just kind of teach you. Hey, here's how you walk. Here's how you pick stuff up. We're gonna craft a a structure and a bedroll and a I think a torch is pretty much all you do. Um, take You get seven hours to complete that, and that's seven game hours, not life hours. Uh, and that is a very long time, actually. That is a very long time. And then my rewards is 25. Uh, they're called Ren in this game, R-E-N. <clears throat> but you can call them credits wherever you want to. So we're going to do that, and then um, that should take this first little bit. Uh, and then uh, probably the second episode of this, uh, we'll, we'll go into this terrain and, and do some scanning. Uh, so you go and do missions, you get rewards. Aaron, why would you want to do that? So we're going to go into our workshop here. And you take the credits that you earn from missions, uh, your currencies. Uh, so you get Ren, exotic resources. And I don't know what this is, but... Um, you can sell those exotics if you want to, to get some extra Ren. I'm going to do that now. So one's going to get me five. I've got three, so I'm going to get 15. It's not a big deal. It gets me almost 200 Ren. Uh, and so like for this environmental suit here, um, this is going to cost 50 Ren to research and then an additional 25 anytime I want to recraft it. 
And that's going to give me a bonus over my current suit, which is the uh, S5, and just basic S5. And it has one slot for oxygen, and that is it. That's all it really has. So this would give me two slots for oxygen and one slot for a suit module. Uh, and modules can be found over here. So once I unlock and make one of these, I'll get 10% movement speed if I put that in my suit. So there's definitely reasons why you would want to complete missions to get some extra uh, bonus things that you normally wouldn't get. What's this one clear over here? 50 chance to resist deep wounds. Tamed, I haven't, I haven't tamed any creatures. Uh, but you got gadgets. You can get a advanced deep mining ore scanner. I can get a repair kit bundle that gives me five workshop repair kits. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this fly, uh, 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 fly swatter looking thing is a fire whacker. <laughs> it's to put out fires. Uh, my buildings haven't caught fire yet. Knock on wood. Um, but there are storms that cause lightning that catch trees on fire. Um, if you drop a torch and walk over it and then run through the forest, you've just started a forest fire because you caught yourself on fire and then you're running toward a lake. I don't know how that scenario came into my head. <laughs> eh. But uh, you can also get pickaxes and hammers and bows and crossbows and farming equipment. There's all kinds of stuff that you can unlock to make the game your next game. Uh, your next mission a little more um, enjoyable or easier. Uh, so that's your workshop. You also have a tech tree. So we started at, you know, level zero, tier one, with some basics already unlocked for us. So we can create wood piles and stone piles. Uh, we can create some stone axes and some stone pickaxes. But, uh, you know, we'll get to a point where we can create some cloth armor just out of reeds and fiber that we find. We'll be able to build some wood structures. I typically go wood first because thatch is just so weak against even the lightest breeze. It really is just kind of useless. Um, but at level 10, we'll unlock some other things. Iron, iron tools and all, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's really... A lot of work has gone into this. Oops. Uh, so that's our tech tree. And then you have talents. Every time you gain a level, you'll get some talent points and or solo points. Uh, and you only get like maybe one or two per level. So I think max level is 60. And I don't think that you'll have enough levels points to unlock everything because this is the survival section we have resources hunting and cooking we go to adventure we have exploration husbandry fishing habitation is repairing tools and building combat is bows crossbows uh, spears blades and firearms uh, and you only get one point to divvy up between all of those different things so it really makes you kind of think about how you want to play what do you want to focus on uh you know especially combat do i want to focus on firearms do i want to focus on spears blades you really don't want to try and spread this out amongst a whole bunch of things uh, i typically play blades and bows uh, i haven't really gotten into the spears yet blades it works for me so anyway uh, and then solo, this is just for your character, uh, where, you know, you increase your base stamina, increase your base move speed, your base health, uh, generic increase the melee damage. So when you hit stuff, it does more damage. Um, so it's, it's pretty, it really makes you kind of take a pause and say, okay, what do I want to spend this point? What's critical right now? <clears throat> so we're going to start mission one. And we're going to listen to Saul talk to us here. Icarus, friend. UDA says we got to drop you in a safe, well-mapped zone your first time down. They must have been thinking of some other planet. You'll see for yourself soon enough. There's a ways to go before you head out hunting for exotics. Right now, it's about learning to survive on the surface. So head down, take a look around, then 
We'll talk. Cool, I was on mute that whole time. I really shouldn't be doing this. <clears throat> it was basically just going over, um, going over that screen. I'm trying to mute so that I don't clear my throat in your voice, in your ears, but doesn't always work the way you do. I think we found out what song is playing on there. Bridget was watching me the other, uh, a little earlier today. I think it's free falling. <laughs> okay, jeesh. Looks like your first time down here. Yeah. Call me Soul. Looks like paradise. But don't be fooled. The air is poison. Wildlife's out to kill you. And the weather's like nothing you've ever seen. You'll need to make yourself some shelter soon enough. But you know what you're doing, right? That's why you came all the way out here and dropped with nothing. Because you could. Well, UDA wants you to show you understand the basics before they send you anywhere really dangerous. So get acquainted, then head back up when you're ready. Best of luck, friend. Thanks, all. You're the best. Stay safe. Uh, so the first thing I do is I just come and I collect a bunch of stuff. We need some sticks, we need some stones. We need lots of fiber. I'm gonna cut those trees down. You want to find a place real quick <clears throat> where you can put a base. Um, so we're gonna get a bunch of stuff cleared out. And I do like this spot on the map uh, right next to this lake because in the lower left you can see there's oxygen, food, and water are the main resources that we're going to need to focus on. And I'm just collecting everything that I can right now. Okay, so collected some items. Uh, our oxide, the little blue rocks, uh, we put that here in our oxygen section and our suit's going to convert the oxide into oxygen so we don't have to worry so much about breathing. Uh, but for now, I want to go into the crafting section. We definitely need this axe, and let's make a pick. Puts it in our inventory slots. And we're just going to keep doing this until we hit level one. I'm just going to collect stuff. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really take much. Oh, there's all these trees come down. All right, well, we chop some trees. We need the wood anyway. Uh, let's use our axe instead of our pick.
So we should hit level one here, which we can gonna need to unlock a couple of things. So your with new skills and new possibilities. What you do with that knowledge, well, that's up to you. Think so. Taking up a hammer if you don't know what you're making. Before you build, you gotta learn how. Mm-hmm. 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 Hi, dear. Come here. I'll fetch you. Uh, so it's important to keep up. On the left-hand side is our task. We need to unlock wood rag torch and craft it. So here we've got tech tree. I'm gonna slide over to get the wood rag torch. Click on it. I got three points left. Our talents. Like I said, we got. I got one point. Uh, I typically <clears throat> check off um, food reserves. They, decline, they de decay slowly. What is adventure? Adventure is going to have steady breathing. Let's increase our base health. Uh, we still have three points. I really don't need anything right now. Uh, what's our thing say? Unlock a wood rag torch. So we go back to crafting section, click on it, craft it. We have all the resources. It's automatically going to put it in our L button. So you hit L and you've lit your torch. Nice and easy. So the next thing is to build a shelter. Okay, so... To build a shelter, we got three points left on our tech tree. We're going to go all the way to the right. I'm going to click this one here for build wood. <clears throat> and with that, we get uh, wood beams, floor, wall, wall angled, a roof ramp, and a door. So um, when we go look at our crafting now, uh, we should see that uh, if we have all the pieces needed for a structure that uh, we could build those. So I'm going to build two of the floors. I'm going to build four walls in a door. Oop. So the queue is grayed out, meaning that everything else in the queue is going to take all the resources that we have. And that's fine. Let's see what it is. Okay, we're going to need more wood. So um, in order to make something, you right click on it, hit deploy. And I'm going to do this right. Let's just do it here. Right click deploy. Let's just put in some walls and then to change the walls, you hold R, you get the wheel. Uh, we definitely want a door frame and right click deploy. We're going to put a roof on there. Nice and done. Oh, hey, there's a wolf. I have no fighting tools. Can I unlock the knife? And then we're going to craft a couple of these. Uh, that was stupid. Well, we need a knife anyway, because we got to kill stuff. Because it's wanting us to uh, build a shelter and a bedroll. Um, the bedroll, if we look at the tech tree, it's going to need 20 fur and 10 leather. Fur is the hardest one to get right out of the gate, because that's rabbits, that's wolves. It's all kinds of little things. Is that wolf still over here? Yeah, let's go get him. Got him. Uh, so then we hold F to skin him with our knife. <clears throat> Have all the items that we get from it. I'm going to hit Q to grab everything. I'm going to get this. Uh, these are backwards. I got a problem. That bone is just getting a good habit of that right now. Uh, what do we need? Some more wood? We got all these trees that have fallen down, so not a problem. I'm out of... <clears throat> am out of... Stamina. We need a door and a craft. A door. And it gives you angled pieces. Obviously, you can make this uh, 
that as uh, complicated as you want to. Um, but I don't need it that complicated. I'm just trying to satisfy real quickly the... Hey, who's poking me, horsey? Alright, now we got a family of dead stuff all over the place. Yeah, these uh, Terran Terranus cart they horses that just attack you out of the easy stuff. It's all right. I don't really need these bones, but I like to stay in the habit of just getting them anyway, because uh, I think when you hit level five, you can unlock bones. So, okay, this happened great. Perfect timing. <clears throat> So we need to unlock the bedroll, but it's blocked by the campfire. So we're going to do campfire, bedroll. And then level five is where I get bone knife. Uh, and I think I'm going to save. Um, yeah, I'm going to save them. We don't really need to do anything right now. Oh, we got two points this time. Okay, and a solo. Uh, solo, I typically do increased base health or stamina. There's a lot of running around in this game. There's just a ton of it. So we still have two points over here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check this to reduce our oxygen consumption. I like that. And then let's reduce our hunger rate so that we don't have to eat uh, as often. To repair items, you can see this is broken down here. Uh, I'm going to right click on it and repair. It just instantly repairs it if you have the items to do it in, in your inventory. It's not that difficult. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's get this on there. Okay, so we have our shelter that's going to protect us through a F-28 hurricane. Look at this thing beautiful uh and we unlocked the bedroll but we need 20 fur and we currently have six so let's get some water and here's some oxide so we're gonna just hack on this rock oxide is the oxygen maker on this planet <clears throat> i say the atmosphere is poisonous I like to think that I'm the alien on Earth. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems fun. Because we still have deer, we have wolves, bears, boars. There's nothing too unearthly about it, but who knows? You, you play your game. There's some berries for some food. There's carrots. Some more oxide. And we're going to go ahead and put this oxide oops, into our inventory to help just keep us with oxygen. So now we have to go... Did I unlock bows? I did. No. It's all right. Ooh, granola bars. Let's make some of those. Nice. Um, <clears throat> even if I had a bow, I can only make stone bows and they're not gonna be able to kill that deer so we're gonna have to run around until we find little things I thought I saw a rabbit here we go and we're gonna take him out of the water and we're just really looking for fur here so I'm just gonna keep running around until I find some more fur I don't think this guy has fur. Great, out of stamina. There's nothing too tough yet. And no fur. And it's up to you. You've got seven hours uh, in this map and uh for this mission there's so much time the first time i played it i think i beat this exploring and goofing around trying to get familiar with the world i 
I think I still completed it in like six hours, 22 minutes or something like that. It just, it just, you, you have time. <laughs> Maybe it was closer to six hours, but that being said, there's just, just plenty of time. Uh, anytime you see watermelons, get them because watermelons are a really good source of, let's get rid of the seeds. I don't need them. Uh, inventory sort. Watermelons give you plus 50 food and 60 water. So they're a really good source of both those if you're carrots give you 20 can 20 consumed. Okay. Get rid of this cocoa and this thing. I don't need any of that. Meat. We are on the hunt for her. Let's repair. Oops. Uh, that's why I like to have a couple at the very beginning, a couple of knives because it's your main tool. They break real quick. So if I have a couple, I can easily switch between the two or three in the middle of a fight instead of stopping to fix it while I'm getting beat up. There's a deer. I don't really have a lot of stamina. I'm used to playing on my level 20 character. I got super lucky with that. These things are so fast. <laughs> Give me some fur. Uh, four fur. Okay. What do I need now? Crafting. Need nine more. Uh, there's usually some wolves over here amongst the rocks. Let's see if we can go find some. And I have discovered that no, just because you hear something doesn't necessarily mean something is in that direction. I think it's just a general ambiance uh, sound effects happening. Watermelon. Uh, so it may or not necessarily because you hear a wolf doesn't mean there is a wolf. Uh, but as you can see, I have done a fair bit of running around. Got that baby deer. Two more. Just take it all for fun. You can get pumpkins too if you want. They don't give you as much water, but you know, you play your game, you find your style. Turn off the light. I really need to remap some of those keys. Uh, just because I'm <clears throat> use use the light a lot. Is, is it Z? Let's let's look at our bindings real quick. Controls. Does anything here say Z? Okay, it didn't crash. Stupid computer. Uh, don't see anything mapped to Z. So let's go find what L is mapped to. There it is. Uh, we're going to hit Z for that. Because much closer. Better, much better. Like I said, I'm just I'm just running around. Oh, we just need a few more. How many more do we need? Seven. Seven more. Give me some. I hear wolves. There's a wolf. Oh, it's you know, Amos. I don't know how you pronounce that. Hear wolves, and you're asking yourself, "Hey, Aaron, you're just running all over the place. How are you gonna know where you are?" Uh, there's a compass at the top, and if you look up there, 
Uh, it's not showing up, but your ship should appear, but you can also hit M for map. And here's where we landed. Um, we're just out in the woods running around. Uh, there it is. It's back up there now. At the top of the screen, so I can aim towards that ship and get back to my ship. And I typically <clears throat> build my shelter near my landing ship because uh, so far I have not found any way to have custom markers on this map. I can click this button over here to find, you know, it'll snap to where I am. But right clicking, clicking, I haven't found anything. Oh, double right click. Will that put it on the... It will. Well, what do you know? Or just double click. Okay. Learn something new every time I play. So double click to put a waypoint. Um, it's a start. I'd like to have be able to have like custom markers so I can... If I find a cave or find something, I could mark it on the map so I remember where it is. Uh, maybe that'll come later as I gain levels. I don't know. Just looking for some deers and rabbits. Uh, we're very fortunate so far. Um, no storms. So we're able to just get out here and run around and fun there's a deer Let's kind of feel like depends on the time of day it's 1 30 or almost two o'clock in game Oh, he jumped. He jumped quick. Sometimes I just have the torch going all the time so that it, when I'm in the woods, it's just always on. And they're so cheap to make. Sure it doesn't assist with uh, hunting. Yeah, this is the, this is the, not the hardest. It's just time consuming. This mission. Because of the bedroll, you just need so much fur. Really feel like everything's avoiding me. There's times when you're playing and you're like, can I just, can you just all back off for just a second while I... Go do something. Let's see if I can kill it. Ah! It was a long shot. It's okay. <clears throat> Good there. I need to do... I just need some fur. What do we say? Seven? It could be between seven and three animals. Just depends. Water's doing okay. Food's doing okay. There's lots of stuff that I have to pay attention to that I normally don't on a lot of other survival games. Not gonna catch you. You're way too fast. Ugh. There's a wolf. Two hits got him. Got two more. So we need five more. Ugh. It's all right. We'll get there. Need some more wolves. Uh, we'll get it later on, but there are some uh, talents that you can get to spot animals sooner. 
you know, see them from a better distance and give them a health bar so you can really see where they're where they're at, which is a big help. What do we got here? My inventory is so full. I don't need the wood. This in their oxygen. We really don't need all these sticks either. <laughs> this leather. <clears throat> here comes that storm. Minor showers approaching. All right. <clears throat> Foods do have buffs. So if I eat this carrot, it's going to consume one space in my stomach. Or this watermelon. It's going to give me 50 maximum stamina. And uh, reduce my water consumption by 10%. Uh, so there's definitely reasons why you want to eat foods. Uh, this says I got dysentery uh, from eating or drinking crappy water. It happens. So even though this storm is supposed to be super light... Level three, there we go. Uh, we're still gonna get some hazard damage. It won't be bad. Sorry. Two more. Two more. Just need a rabbit. We'll stick close to here just in case we gotta jump in shelter real quick. carrots sticks it's so um satisfying to just collect stuff just hold f storm incoming oh no and there's our notification that we're getting storm exposure uh you kind of got to be careful when those winds start coming it will knock trees down lightning strikes will set your house ablaze so just get in your shelter, hang out for a minute, get get that out. I'd be surprised if we find any animals out here now. And there are consequences to it. So when you look at uh, your status effects, the storm light exposure is reducing my movement speed. So it definitely makes a big problem. The stronger the storm, the, the more severe your... Um, consequences so you don't want to be out and about and then get stuck where your movement speed or whatever is reduced to like 80% you just gotta crawl you'll die <clears throat> uh, I think it looks like we gained another level so we got Talent point to assign. Let's see what we got. One point. I've not done husbandry. There is a thing here called Storm Chaser where we can increase our stamina regeneration during storms. I don't really need that right now. Combat seems okay. We can increase our melee attack speed. Increase our move speed with a blade. Uh, faster aim wind up. There's throwing daggers, which in my opinion are kind of useless. Faster move speed with a bow, cheaper bow crafting, reduced stamina use when drawing bows, and faster bow reload. Hmm. I need those right now. Survival, more meat for skinning, increased base stamina, increased move speed while crouching i think i want to do this one which slows our food decay our inventory so let's do that and then our tech tree we got six points uh we're not level five yet so i kind of want to not go crazy what i do want to do though is get the drying rack which lets us, um, some, some meats that you get have to be done in a, uh, cooked in a fire. Others have to be dried. I do need storage. Don't need the oxidizer. So I'm not going to do that. Um, four points. Let's 
let's get those three cloth armor. Uh, I typically leave one point. Um, just, you know, something might pop up in an emergency. Like, oh, I need that. <clears throat> so you can also see in the upper right, um, we've got our temperature. Uh, we've got storm incoming. I wonder if I can change that. Oh, it's a Fahrenheit. Us Americans are dumb. Gameplay. Yeah, there we go. Fahrenheit. Oh. Gameplay. Skip startup movies on. Workshop tooltip open. Animations off. Blueprint tooltip open automations. Uh, let's put both those on. Disable map selection warnings. I don't know what that means. Cool. So now we're in fair heights. Nice, nice 76 degrees. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? Two. We just need two more. Yeah, two more. I swear this takes the longest every time I do this. It's like the third time I restarted this series because I keep screwing up and the video looks like crap. Tim doesn't like me anymore. <clears throat> Mute. Do that. Put it on the twelve button, or the what is that? Ten. Create a macro to mute on my ten button. I'll do it later. <clears throat> Can I catch him? Ah, come here! I want to love you. Ah, where everybody come from? <clears throat> Heard a wolf running around till I spot one. And what's funny is once you get the perks uh, to see animals, they're just everywhere. They're just everywhere. I just can't find them now because. You don't see them until you're right on them. Oh, this is really entertaining. If you think it annoys you, it annoys the crap out of me. I just need a wolf. Rabbit, come on. Yeah, there's no climbing. You know, some games have like climbing where you grab the ledge and you come up. It is not in this game, so it's kind of a big pain. <clears throat> like, really, you can't just grab something and climb up. was supposed to be a 30 minute video because of the stupid requirements we're just screwed I 
Now night's coming. And you can't sleep to pass the night unless you have a sleeping bed. They don't have a sleeping bed because they can't find a rabbit or a wolf. Everything else is too fast. And I'm out of stamina. There's a wolf. Punch him in the face. Add it with you. Uh, three. Three pelts. Furs. So now that we have that, there's everything. Now that we have that, all we have to do, there's a large deer, is craft it. Right click. Deploy, we can just set it down anywhere. How you build. And we're done. That's up to you. <laughs> so long as you learn the basics, your chances are the same as anyone else. <clears throat> and I get paid. Yep, so that was all it takes. Uh we don't have anything to take back with us. You can only take back um exotic resources. Uh so we're just gonna return to the station. And then <clears throat> See what we can do with our money. <clears throat> so we completed the mission. <clears throat> we got our twenty five coins. Our Ren, let's go to the workshop and see what we want to unlock. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Um, but I was waiting to get this module. So 75 and 50 is 125. Is that right? I think we would be able you unlock the backpack suits two or the helmets 250. <clears throat> let's do the suit the module 75 and then we can oh, next one cost and 100. Well, which way does it go? This is the Gustav upgrade suit, the expanded storage. Okay. A food, a water, food. Okay. All kinds of slots. This one is the environ suit. This one adds a water slot to the base. Well, it also gives you plus five physical resistance. Okay. Uh, so we're going to craft that one for 25. We still have 25 left. We can go to our modules. Craft that for 50. <clears throat> so that when we go on our next... <clears throat> our next mission, we will have these with us. And get super bonuses. That's pretty handy. Uh, so next episode, we're going to go start mission two. That one might be a while. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to set up my self here at the home office. Fix my microphone and stuff. And we'll be back. <laughs>